Hey guys, what's up? Um, Carnivore here. Um, I'm just gonna, um, this is a voiceover, so, um, I'll try and commentate best as I can, but, um, if I slip up or whatever, um, I, 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 can't, I can't really help that. Anyways, so, um, we start off with the pump here. I usually start off with the pump. Um, it's, if I don't get it in, like, the first, um, what would it be like? Like first hand, it's I don't know, it's pretty brutal. Um, I don't like facing the prince in this. It, I have to defend with the giant, and that sucks, honestly. Um, I place the wizard on the side to take splash damage on both of them, um, and he takes it out with his fireball since he's a uh, level eight and I'm a level seven. Um, but that's all good, and um, I, I take him out, um, and then he sends in a hog, and then. I believe I sent in a hog to counter. Yep. Um, and. Uh, yeah. Um, he doesn't really have anything to defend that, so. I get some good damage off on his tower, and I place the poison down to take out everything and weaken the witch. Because it won't fully kill the witch, it'll only get it down to like half or something. Um, so he. Um, it, he just leaves the witch alone, and I, I can't take damage because he's all level 8. So, I, um, or uh, he at least does more damage. So, I send both of those, and I, um, I, I assume he was gonna, um, place down, like, something else, like his baby dragon, right there. But he doesn't not have to defend with the giant again. Um, I find this really annoying because I don't have a proper counter to it. But here I go, and he places his bars for the first time. And I wasn't sure what would happen because my, um, my wizard was kind of focused on the baby dragon, so, um, I, I didn't know if it would actually like, survive or not. Anyway, so I, I go to pump up here because it's double elixir, and I'll get the elixir almost immediately back. So I place the poison again. I'm dragging it because I need to see, I need it to both touch the tower and, um, and, um, get the witch. Um, and any other troops he placed it in front. So, um, my tower is pretty long, but so is his. So, I I go with the the baby dragon uh, for splash damage, even though I have the Valk there, um, because with the with the Valk, um, if she's not high level enough, the um, the barbs can take it out pretty pretty easily. So I place an elixir pump to draw the um, hog away from my tower, and that worked pretty well. So then I we only have 11 seconds left, right? So I'm just trying to survive for right now because because I think I have like 300 and something damage on it. Um, so I just keep placing stuff and um, time ended before you could land his arrows, but it still wouldn't have uh, won it because like I think he had like 186 damage um, to go and arrows won't do that much. But um, that's my deck and. I'd say it's pretty good. A lot of splash damage, and almost all my cards are rares. Cards are rares or epics, but for the most part, it works pretty well. The poison takes out barbs almost to sliver of health, and um, the minion horde pretty easily. So, um, not much else to do, and I request, but I don't think anybody. Um, I don't think anybody accepts, even though there are like five people on my my clan isn't very um very active, so um another thing I wanted to talk about was uh school and shit. Um so I won't be um I'm not gonna be um uploading during the summer because I don't have much to do. Um and I have summer school and stuff, so um, another thing, I can't upload at home, I think I've touched upon this several times, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I can't upload at home, um, I don't know, the internet's trash, um, I'll, I'll play and stuff, and record, so I'll have stuff for you next year, um, but the next time I put out a video, it'll probably be, um, oh, I missed that, I kind of sucked, but anyways, um, the next time I put out a video will probably be, um, probably next year. 
um, if I can't upload anything uh, uh, during Star School because they have internet there. Um, so this is technically what what he's playing right now is technically a modified um, Pekka deck. Um, giant in front of tank and we should be behind for the splash damage. Um, that was good, I suppose, good placement. Um, I think he takes the tower. Um, but, I mean, not much else you can do against the prince once he gets on your tower. So, um, yeah. Um, so, okay, so, oh, wow, he's pushing for the three count. Okay, so, which behind? That's gonna distract the mini Pekka. Um, and he also showed more cards than he probably should have. But, if that's what he's comfortable with, then I guess go ahead. Um, kill the witch with the barbs. And the barbs will be drawn. Oh well. I mean, I would have placed the cannon before right, in the center. Draw it away, get more fire. By both of the by both of the towers on the giant, but um the musketeer should be able to take out that I think that's a level seven. I can't see very well. Um Alright. So one tower is relatively low on um on Drow's side. Um but he's gonna go with the the pins again. Take out the wizard and take. Oh wow. Okay. Silver of health there. Um. Giant in front. Barbs behind. Mini Pekka. Yep. And dragon. What will he place next? Just gonna get some good damage off on the crown tower. Wow. Keeping those late. Okay. Uh, the minion horde. I don't know if that was the best place right in front of the Valk. Wow. Um, again, not the best placement of the cannon. I would have placed it more um, in the center. Draw it away. But um, whatever suits your fancy. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, uh, this video. Um, and I probably, probably will do a... Um, or recap pretty soon. See you guys later.